welcome to another SketchUp tutorial by LarkExchange.com. I'm Brian, and today I'll be showing you about configuring the user interface. As you can see here, my user interface might look a little bit different than what you guys have set up. I've got probably a few more tools than you would have with the default edition and uh, and, and views in SketchUp, but I'm going to show you now how to kind of configure that to. Uh, to get these extra tools. So if you go up into view and toolbars, what I've done is taken off the getting started tool palette and put on the large tool set. Uh, also turned on face style, layers, shadows, standard, and views. And also sandbox. Now this is something I'll get to in a second. One thing I've also done is turn off large buttons. And the reason why I've turned off the large buttons is because it kind of maximizes your screen space a little bit more with the smaller ones and lets you view more of your model at the same time. So, Back to the sandbox tool now. If you're just starting out with SketchUp, you probably don't have this option enabled yet. So I'm going to show you guys how to get that. And it's what I call one of those secret or hidden tools. So if we go into our Windows menu and we go into Preferences, we'll get our System Preferences dialog box here. and what pops up is extensions. Um, now I can kind of give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough here. Uh, we have compatibility, uh, which can invert your mouse wheel, bounding box only stuff, drawing, uh, auto detect, click style, display crosshairs, all kinds of stuff. Extensions, which is these uh, sandbox tools and utility tools. I'll get back to those in a second. Uh, file types, models, components, where everything is stored, how to access them. Uh, in terms of names, general, how often it creates an automatic save or backup file. Uh, again, that tool palette button, the large tool problems. Now, this is will automatically check for problems in your model and correct them. Um, OpenGL, this is graphics card, so you have your anti-aliasing, your shadows, precision, all kinds of stuff. You can even define your own shortcuts in this menu. Uh, if you don't like the default SketchUp ones, you can add in your own. And you can change the drawing template either from metric or to imperial. It's going to pop back up to extensions here. And I'm just going to, by default, you guys won't have sandbox tools turned on or the utilities turned on or the Ruby script samples either. So go ahead and turn on your utility tools and your sandbox tools and uh, just hit OK. Now, if you go back into your view menu and you go into your toolbars, you should definitely have your sandbox tools down here. I've got one other thing here that you guys probably won't have, but I'm going to get into that in a later tutorial. So right here uh, is your sandbox tools, and this is what they look like. And we, those are a pretty neat set of tools, and we're going to get into them later. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the SketchUp user interface. For more great tutorials on SketchUp, you can check us out at LarkExchange.com. Thanks for watching.